Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the Orco 6139U3. Now you're probably wondering what the hell is a 6139U3? Well, a 6139U3 is a USB 3, 3.5 inch hard drive docking station also suitable for two and a half inch drives. So if you've got an old hard drive, for instance, one of these, and you want to get the information off it via the SATA interface, you're going to need one of these to plug into your computer. So let's take a look inside the box and see what we get. So first of all, let's have a quick look at the packaging. Um, typical Arco packaging, recycled cardboard where possible, uh, very sort of uh, monochrome design for their layouts, saves money on printing, so pass on the saving to the customers, maybe, possibly, hopefully. Uh, talking of price, this is at the moment on Amazon about £20 or about £25 US. Get it from the Amazon store. If you just look up Oracle or Oracle EU or Oracle US, depending where you are, and you should find it pretty easily. Uh, also, there'll be links in the bottom of this video so you can click on those if you want to. Let's have a look, see what the specs are of this. So just going over a brief overlook. Uh, up to six gigabits per second maximum, which is the uh, SATA 6 limit anyway. Um, takes three and a half inch hard disk drives. Um, it says three and a half inch drives, but I think it'll do two and a half anyway. Also, if you're careful when you put them into the caddy, but we'll show you what I mean in a bit. Uh, it's a USB 3 standard, so super speed USB, and it's a tool free design. So unlike previous caddies from years ago, where you had to get a screwdriver, Normally some little rubbish plastic one which would come with the kit when you try and take the little rubbish screws out and then they'd, the heads would strip and then you'd end up just having bits falling off everywhere. With this, not going to be a problem. It's uh, completely tool free. So let's have a look inside the box. So you get a power brick with jack plug. Get a USB 3 A to B cable. Get a uh, installation guide pretty simple so probably not going to need those and here we are this is the unit itself so there we are there's the Arco 6139U3 so as you can see it's a uh, crystal clear plastic ABS design and there is the bit where you put your hard drive in now just looking around so you can see the circuit board in there it's nice to see that the circuit board they've actually coloured black rather than being your traditional green like you would normally have on a printed circuit board just to give it that little look of uh, well, premium look. So let's have a look see what we've got. So we've got some resistors in there, some capacitors. Uh, so that should be good for if you put a drive in for a short circuiting if the connectors are in the wrong place or something like that. But you'd be pretty hard pushed to put a drive in there wrong. Oracle logo on the front. See, it's only about sort of two and a half, three inches wide by about six inches. And on the back there, you can see you've got your USB 3 connection, you've got your power connection, and you've got your on off button. Now, the on off button is slightly recessed, so you won't accidentally press it, which is a good idea. Save any uh, accidental data loss. So, if you had it on a desk, and so you pick it up and you're not going to press it by mistake. So there we go. That's the unit. That's what it looks like. I'm going to plug it up now and put a drive in and we'll see what the data speeds are like. Plugged in our wall socket, got my power cable. So first thing is plug in the power to the power port. Got our USB cable. That end into the Oracle, that end into the computer. Now, see, this the lead is included in the kit, so you don't have to go out and spend more money on a cable like you used to with printers back in the day. Show my age then. I remember when I used to get parallel cables. Anyway, I digress. Right, so USB into the laptop. In this case, a Surface laptop, just so we can get a good idea of data transfer. So there we go, that's uh, plugged in. So. Probably best thing to do is now insert the drive. Now the drive will physically only go in one way, so you match up your SATA connectors, 
to the SATA connectors in the caddy. And seems to be pretty secure. Seems to be pretty secure. Got somebody else's teeth in today. And we'll press the power button and hopefully nothing will explode. Ooh. No explosion, but it lights up blue. So if you've got a blue theme going on in your RGB bedroom, you're in luck. If you, if you haven't got blue in your RGB uh, theme, just put your hand over it. So there we are, it's appeared. So what I'm gonna try and do now is I've transferred some footage, which I've recorded earlier. Um, I'm gonna copy and paste it over into the drive just to get an idea of uh, data transfer speed. I when I was transferring it before, I was doing it on a USB 2 um, USB card reader, and I was getting a sustained transfer rate of around about 16 to 17 megabits per second. So I'm gonna transfer this across now and see what we get. Now obviously copy and paste is gonna be slower than cut and paste. Um, if you need more information on that, click on one of my other videos and I'll explain why. So I'm gonna drag our folder from footage and we're going to stick it in the drive. And the drive's just spinning up. And there we go, we're getting a pretty good data transfer there. Actually, we're getting a ridiculously fast transfer. Very fast. That is currently transferring at 100 and, well, it went up to 150 megabits per second. Which I think is actually roughly the theoretical maximum of the drive, so that's pretty good. Now if you, I don't know if you can see that very well from there, but we're getting very few peaks and troughs, uh, which is normally where it's just saturating the USB transfer bus. But it seems to be hovering around the 130 to 150 megabits per second mark. So that's transferred almost the whole 10 gigs, I think it was roughly, in, well, not too sure, probably about 45 seconds to a minute. That's not very, uh, not very long at all. Certainly way, way faster than the 16 to 17 megabits per second I was getting with the uh, USB card reader. And there we go, we're done. And that's copy and pasting. That's just, that should be the slowest way of doing it. If I cut if I cut it and paste it, because it's not having to copy it, it would be a lot quicker again. But still, 150 megabits per second throughput onto a relatively old Barracuda uh, two terabyte, three and a quarter inch drive is quite impressive. So uh, yet again, well done Arco, another top product. So that is pretty much it. While I'm saying that, I think that's nearly it. The power saving feature on this Arco Caddy is fantastic because the drive isn't transferring data anymore. It's actually powered down. So let's see if I can get closer so you can actually hear it. It's absolutely silent. So if you've got a drive set up on your desk and you're leaving it in there for transferring data, it's not gonna be whirring away like crazy unless you're actually using it, which is a great feature in my opinion. So anyway, that's been the Arco 6139U3. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.